Look at what they've done with the world. A storehouse of evil and greed. We had better deal with this at its very roots. You're not talking about... Yes, the final judgment day. It's time each one pay a debt for what they have done. Are you sure? Forgive me for saying this, but when you talk about the end of the world, I get this knot in my throat. My medallion. Who stole my medallion? You heard of soulless evildoers? Great balls of fire and terrifying lightning bolts shall rain from the heavens and you will cringe with fear in the deep dark halls of hell! These prophets only end up confusing the people with their apocalyptic prophecies. I wonder what God would say if he were to hear them. Good morning. With this, you finish paying off what you owe me. But Farfan, you had said that with the last delivery, the debt had been satisfied. But the price of grain has gone down. What's important now is that it's paid in full, and you can get, get back, back in, in debt, debt again. again. Shouldn't we do it at night? That way, the smaller lights can be better seen. Balls of fire aren't as noticeable during the day. Do you want me to take charge of the arrangements? I'll take care of everything. Thank you, Noah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm free. I'm free. Thanks to Noah. I'm free. We shall see. There still may be some hope for them. Father, we have to talk. Every year we work harder and each time we get paid even less. Yeah, the land becomes more and more barren and we haven't even finished paying for it. We're not doing things right. Have we bothered anyone? Have we hurt anybody? Is anybody suffering on account of us? Mm, no. No. Well, then we're not doing so badly. <clears throat> what if we chopped down the forest around our house, Father? Then we could make enough. Jafet, my father helped my grandfather plant all those trees. When the wind blows and rustles the leaves, I feel as though they are with me. It's not all about money. Don't you worry. We will be just fine. We will always be fine if we stay together like we are, a family. Yes, one big family. What do you mean your father got into debt again? And to free a slave, no less? Silence! Be quiet, enough arguing. The time has come, my dear, for you to take charge of the family. Oh, well, I have no doubt that you are the most capable of all the sons. The most capable? Why? My son can take charge of it just as well as he can. But Sarah, dear, it just so happens that Sam is the youngest of the three brothers. Don't touch, oh, that's for oh. dinner. If it is a question of age, Jafet is the eldest. But first, Noah must be dealt with. And for that, my dear Edith, we have to... Just a minute, you're oh. talking about my father. I won't hey, allow you to talk, you talk that way. Don't you dare mess with my husband. <laughs> no, that's all you know how to do is yell. I am not yelling. You're yelling Sarah, don't get upset. Oh, oh, no, we should not be talking like that. You freed another slave, didn't you? Yes, isn't that wonderful? Yes, but Noah, the children are... Yes, aren't they wonderful? Noah, all through our marriage, I've been loyal to hmm? you in every way. This you know better than anyone. But sometimes I feel that perhaps uh, we're on different paths and we don't realize that... Noah? Noah? Mm. Come closer, Noah. 
Think of it as your own personal spotlight. Are you who I think you are? Who do you think I am? Who do you think I think you are? I think you think that I think that you think I am who you think I am. Because I would think that you'd think that I... That's I'm... enough. It's me, God. I have called you because I have decided to give you one last chance. I'm going to send a flood. Did you say a flood? Yes, a torrential rain that will flood everything. I know what a flood is, Lord. What I'd like to know is... Why us? Noah, you are a good man, but not everyone is like you. Listen to what I say. You must build an ark and put your family on it until the rain stops. If you do this wisely, when this is all over, humankind will start again, anew. Go in a, an, an ark? All of us on our own? Not on your own. You will do this taking a pair of each existing species of animal. But how will we communicate? And how do I construct an ark? It's impossible. Nothing is impossible for those who have faith. You shall sail towards the sunset. If you can remain united, the world will be reborn. Otherwise, it will come to an end. All right then. I will not let you down, my lord. Oh, oh, oh. Well, how was it? Do you really think he's the right man for the job? I truly hope so. Now tell me, did my voice sound all right? I always think it's a little overprojected. No, no, sir, it was perfect. Okay, cut the lights. It's a wrap. I'll have more potatoes. Mom, Father said he spoke with God today in the forest. Really? And what did he say? <laughs> that he was going to send down a flood. A flood, you say? Yep, a torrential rain that will flood everything. I know what a flood is, Jafet. So that means we're all going to die. Nope. He said, not us. We're the ones that are chosen to be saved. Well, finally a piece of good news. Of course, but in order to survive, we must first build an ark. An ark? Yeah, it's Perfect. a huge ship in the huh? shape of hmm? a... Huh? Huh? An ark? Hmm? An ark. How original. Yes, especially since we live here in the desert. Uh, excuse me, but how do you spell hippopotamus? <laughs> a little more mashed potatoes, sweetheart. But Father loves that forest more than anything else in the world. Mm. 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 Noah, mm. is there any way I can mm. help you? Someone needs to call on all the animals. Call on all the animals? All of them. A male and a female of each species. A summer house. Mm -hmm. And in exchange for a handful of pigeons. Like my grandfather used to say, if at first you don't succeed, cheat again. <gasps> Poor soul. His partner killed him. Oh, really? Uh, what a pity. Hmm. My little doves, it's almost time. I can understand the house being traded for some lousy pigeons or that a century-old forest be chopped down to construct a ship. But what I can't understand is that your mm -hmm. husband has spoken to God and it didn't even occur to him to ask for anything. Fly, my little white doves, fly. Fly away, my messengers of the new world. Fly. Fly. Free! We're finally free! This we have to celebrate! <laughs> Excuse me, but isn't the jungle that way? Come on, stop worrying! <laughs> Look at this. It's Buddha's book. It has wonderful pictures. And this one is in Chinese. It's got more than 800 pages. And just look at the cover. So when will ours be ready? Well, sir, 
we're just at the beginning. They're the first chapters. We really need something to catch people's interest. You don't think the flood is enough? I don't know if we can keep our readers' attention. We should have a little more action. Listen, listen to this, my dear friend, the Puma. <laughs> we are the messengers of the new world. <laughs> man. What if the flood thing is for real? <laughs> what a dunce! He spelled here D E A R. Honestly, guys, have you ever seen clouds like these? Ooh, 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 or heard thunder like that? Wait a second, here comes some thunder. <laughs> Is it lunchtime already? Some friendly faces. What's that noise? Oh, there's someone at the window. Oh, watch this. It looks like a letter. Oh no, it's more like junk mail. They just don't know what to do to get people's attention. But don't you worry about a thing. Just relax your muscles. Relax, right. Oh. We'll get rid of those knots. <laughs> uh, and I won't forget what Queen Oriana said and... Uh, uh huh? Uh, uh, Who are you? Uh, uh, what happened to you? What have they done to you? Oh. What have you got here? Hmm? <gasps> oh, that's good. Now just let yourself relax. Just relax and let go so the natural oils can do their work. I'll be back in a minute, darling. <laughs> Mm. Hmm. Ah. For 40 days, a great opportunity! A great rain will fall upon the earth for 40 days. God is giving us one last great opportunity. He asked me to build an ark where we shall all travel with my family together with pairs of animals to accomplish the divine design. Learn to love each other, respect one another, be just, practice solidarity, and multiply. An ark to learn to love each other and multiply? Yeah! Woohoo! To those chosen to fulfill the Lord's will, we will meet you in the Jasira Desert past the forest. Signed, Noah. Noah? I wanna go! <laughs> Listen to me. If I'm not on that ark when it sets sail, I swear, Dad, I shall never forgive you. Oh, are you sure of what you're saying? This isn't just another whim. No, oh. Dad, I've thought about it. This is what I want to do. It's time I fly the coop and take on new challenges. Don't you think? I'm the son of the king, huh? And the heir to the throne. Well, does anyone have anything else to add? Well, 
but something is not right since the day he was born. Aren't those my colors? Well, I'm off to tell Bombay the news. And now we must tell all the other animals. You, Oriana, you're in charge of getting him a, a mate for the trip. Kyrell. <gasps> it would be my honor. Prepare an audition with all of Zero's <laughs> girlfriends. Huh? Mm. Noah, you've been working all night. Shouldn't mm. you get some rest? There is no time to rest. The storm could begin at any moment now. Attention! The Honorable King Sabu requests the presence of all species of animals to an emergency meeting. Why in the world do I pay attention to you, woman? The heat here is unbearable. But honey, it's not my fault. I can't stop sweating. I feel like a soaked sponge. Like we care about this flood. It never rains in the North Pole. It's ridiculous to think we're gonna drown. Here we go again. I really don't need this. They're all gonna hear from me. They're gonna hear from me. As usual, my faithful animals have responded. <laughs> Why wouldn't they respond to such a generous, fair, and dashing king, Sabu? Yes, and old. We always knew the day would come that Zero would succeed us. Well, I hope he measures up to the circumstances. You must trust your son. When the time is right, he will be ready. Skin moisturizer, hair tonic, Facial mask, uh, incense, some afternoon casual wear to impress the ladies. <laughs> I need something classy just in case there's a gala. I think I have it all. Oh, and something to read, of course. I've read others by the same author, but none are like this one. Have you heard anything about your companion? Do you know who she'll be? No, no one has told me who she is, but they've all been interviewed to pick the best one. And you're coming too, right? <gasps> but of course. I wouldn't miss this for the world. But isn't this a couple's thing? Haven't you met her? Lily! Oh, Lily, allow me to introduce you to Prince Zero. Hello. <gasps> Hi, Lily. Isn't she a hoot? See you in the ark, sweetheart. This is an outrage! This king is gonna hear from me! Welcome to the emergency meeting called by King Sabu. Step this way, pick up the brochures to find out where your corresponding seating is. Please excuse the inconveniences. We are working for you. Welcome to the emergency meeting called by King Sabu. Step this way, pick up the brochures to find out where your corresponding seating is. Sabu. <laughs> Attention! Uh, um, for years now, we have been waiting to hear from the only animal who never has attended one of our meetings. Man. Well, now, one of them, one named, one named... Noah! Noah? has gotten in touch with us. He is inviting us to board his ark. <coughs> An ark constructed to save us from a flood. You are now the chosen ones to begin a new era. Those of us who have reached the end of our journey <coughs> Send you forth with the hope that you will build a better world. Well, I'm against it. Huh? I think this is no more than a trap to hunt all of us down. What do you know? Stop living in a fantasy world. Silence, please. Our friend the unicorn has the floor. Man has always been our natural enemy. Let's not be naive. If you respond to this call, you will surely find your heads hung over a mantelpiece next winter. Shut up and take off that ridiculous <laughs> party hat. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the birthday party? <laughs> it's a bone overgrowth. Uh, I, 
them getting treated. Don't pay any attention to them, Philip. <laughs> no one is being forced to take this trip against their will. It is possible that this may be one of man's tricks. But if it isn't, you will only survive by helping each other and following a strong leader. The time to make a decision is now. words, my king. Gagnino, it's a pleasure to see you again. Same here, King Sabu. Excuse my interrupting, but I just want to know who will be chosen to guide all the animals on such a dangerous mission. Explain to me how none of my choices qualify as a partner for me on this trip. Who's responsible for the selections? I want one of my choices. I want one now. Hey! Hey, Dagnino! You, know. you are quite a tiger. Stripes really suit you, you know? Hmm, it'll be a great trip. Maybe a new beginning can also mean a new king. <laughs> oh, thank you. Looks like our sons have decided to help out. I think they're sorting out the sailing charts. I'm not very good with sailing charts. <laughs> this one offers good service, but it's quite a ways from here. What's the name of the place where Edith's dad is? Sacred Sunset. But I don't recommend it because they don't allow visitors. Hmm. Your behavior is unacceptable. This is just unbelievable. All of my suggestions have been rejected. There must be a good reason. Well, of course there is. Would you like to hear them? Newbie, big boobs, no brains. Bruma, too thin, no brains. Niebla, too hippie, too busty, and no brains. What was that last Stop one? Me. Oh, 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 oh. Well, it really doesn't matter. Since when are there so many prerequisites for taking a trip? Who's in charge of this ridiculous um, way of choosing? Um, I asked Kyrell to do the interviews. Oh, I should have known. She's the only one who would reject every one of these super hot chicks. Didn't you read the brochure? Travel in couples, learn to love, and multiply! All words that Kyrell hasn't the slightest idea what they mean. I'm taking Bruma, and that's that. Does this boy know what he'll be up against? You must have faith. He will listen to the voice of his lineage. Don't you find it suspicious, Farfan, that Noah was so willing to sell you the house so easily? Why, no! The world is full of idiots! And I have a special gift for finding them. Mmm, <laughs> Zero, you're so sweet. Mm. Oh, stop! The tickle. <clears throat> May I remind you that your people are expecting leadership from you? Huh? You? What are you doing here? Didn't they say couples only? Precisely. They said couples, not a third wheel, you know. Hmm. Out of respect for the person who accompanies her, I shall abstain from formulating a reply to a wholly unimpeachable woman. What? 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 Oh, look, I was very young. I didn't know what I was doing. Besides, my private life is just that. Private. Uh, aren't you going to say anything? She's insulting me. Uh... Prince Zero, King Sabu put me in charge of escorting you to the Ark to guarantee that all would go well. We are lagging behind, so you both better get with it. It's finished, Lord. Your Ark is finally completed. Just wondering, do you think there's enough space for all the animals to fit? Of course, Nama. 
my ark has a section for animals with 1,300 double cabins, plus five towers for the birds. In addition, on the upper levels, the section for humans. With its large fishing platform and four cabins for our family, warehouse, service elevator. On this journey, we will create a caring community without hatred or resentment, navigating in peace towards a new world where there will be no room for pain and suffering. It's beautiful. Oh. Mother, father, even though it's finished, you ought to get used to the idea that the animals are not going to come. protect you. In there you'll find food and shelter. Tell me something. Do you think these animals are enough food for us mm -hmm. on such a long trip? How am I supposed to know? Look there! Huh? Oh. You can't possibly expect us to share a roof with those beasts. Animals are only good as zoo. You either eat them or they eat you. Just a minute. We want to guarantee that the predators are not going to devour us during the trip. Well, don't say it that way. Well, then it's a good thing I brought some salad for the trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm on an herb-based diet. It's very beautiful. Let's get moving. There isn't much time. Mm -hmm. I insist. I really think that we should go in anyway. Good idea. Oh, shut up, you ram. Why doesn't our dashing new king decide? Yeah, right! What a great idea! Let's ask for protection from a savage beast with a murderous instinct! But what is going on? Why aren't they moving? I will go and get them. Be very careful, my dear. Jafet, please go with your father. But, Mom, Jafet, I... Jafet, don't you go! You have to protect me from those beasts! <clears throat> your Majesty... <sighs> I'm sorry to distract you from important mm. matters, <laughs> but the animals would like to know if they're allowed to feast on each other during the trip. I need to have my bacon for breakfast, you know. One less piggy won't make much of a difference, will it? Hmm? I... Uh, I think that... We need a decision, Your Majesty. Um... <sighs> maybe we ought to listen to some other opinions? I totally agree. Will it bother anyone if I express my opinion with my mouth? Oh. Wow. <laughs> this is not the time for internal conflicts that sooner or later end badly. We have the opportunity to forge a new world. Let's do it based on respect and tolerance. I say here that if any of us so much as touches one of our brothers, I myself will give him his rightful punishment. I love the way he talks. He's so good at it. I loved it. Now keep going. We now have our hope to lead us on. Welcome, all you creatures of the Lord. Welcome to our humble ark. We living beings must prove that we are able to create a just world. But we will only do this if we can learn to trust one another. Too bad you will never get to see that world. This is why nothing would make me happier than for you to decide to board our ark and come along with us on this amazing adventure in peace. Um, as a representative... But the rule. We aren't allowed to speak to the humans. Well then, what do you say? Do you perhaps need some kind of sign?
the sudden be kind to animals attitude is really uh, uh, Hurry up! I'll miss out on all the best rooms! And above all, remember those who through love and faith will be losing their lives under the water without so much as having experienced a second of joy. I want a room with a view! <laughs> you can save your speeches for some other time. Now that you're going to die from drowning, I would love to tell you a few things. First of all, I always hated your efficiency and intelligence. And in case you don't know what a mirror is, you are fat. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, my friend, my loyal messenger. You have fulfilled your duty, but wh what's with the bandages? Now it's time to relieve your pain. Ouch. I truly hope that this crazy old man will not let those beasts travel up here on Don't the Don't talk deck. about my father like that. He's not crazy. Look at this rain. Oh. Uh, it's just another summer shower. What are you doing here? You're not going on this trip. You weren't chosen because but you're boring and you're plebeian. You're the one that's Tell boring. Her to shut up, once and for all. I think you're being too harsh on her. Hey, donkey, don't defend her. And you're not only fat, you're a busybody. You are starting I to... can't stand her any longer. <laughs> oh, 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 did I hurt you? <laughs> you don't even think of defending me. Oh, my little pom pom, are you all right? Uh, I lost my balance. My feet are so tiny. Well, there goes the sweet and tender future mother of my children. Hurry up! These are the last two pairs! Everybody on board! Tyrell! You have no choice but to come on board! But my orders are to return! I have to write up my report! What are you talking about, Tyrell? Forget the report! There's nothing to decide! Let's go! Oh, it's really raining. Yes. And here we can put in one of those bathtubs for my bubble baths. How could all eight of them have possibly lived here? I couldn't care less. If you ask me, they can all go and live in an incredibly big, enormous ark. Are you seeing oh, what I'm seeing? I can't believe it. That old man is crazier than we thought. Building an ark in the middle of the desert, he must have thought it was going to rain until everybody in the world drowned. <laughs> Farvan, and if that's true, we must get onto that ark. Yeah, 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 but, 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 but how? It's floating, Father. It's floating. Yeah. Hey! Wait, Wait for us! Wait! Wait, Wait don't for leave us. us behind! We have fulfilled God's will. Now, let's sail. Absolutely, my dear Nama. We're off to the new world. Ah, oh, don't call for them anymore. Oh! Oh! I'm too young to die. Oh no, it's leaving again. Oh! Let me take the wheel. You're going to make me make a wrong turn. I can do you it. You can do something else, Father. Leave this to us. Oh, my poor little boy, did you hurt yourself? What a family. 
Dear Lord, what a family. Don't take his side, Mother. He can't see a Please, thing. Please, stop fighting. Please, Father, you're going to crash into something. What do you think I'm going to crash <gasps> into, son? <gasps> Don't be childish. Hello? There's nothing in front of us except... Oh. Water. the sunset. No, Father. The sun sets that way. Ah, yes, yes, of course. Okay, that way. I hope we didn't make a mistake. <clears throat> Did they manage? They still have to live together. The rain is the least of their worries. And speaking of which, Special Effects just called and they said so much rain and in the desert, no less, it's going to cost a fortune. Tell them it's fine. It will have been worth the effort. Hmm. I'm going to rest now. Get to work on my book. Last one, there's a donkey! <laughs> it seems like there's going to be problems with discipline. Hey, sweetie, come and look! We gotta be with the outfit! Did you see the rooms? Yes. They're spectacular! <sighs> and this is my room! You mean huh? our room. That's just what I wanted to talk to you about. <clears throat> Perhaps it would be better, at least for a while. Um, you know, I'm going through a very painful loss, and uh, Newbie was very important to me. Bruma. Uh, Bruma, that's it. Uh, anyway, if we give each other a little time, I'm still very young, and also, I might lose my image as king if I don't show myself in the right company. Are you insinuating I'm not good enough for you? Well, um, I wasn't exactly referring to being good enough. It's... <laughs> it's more a question of... Of weight? You see, it's not so much about what you are, but rather of what you aren't. Hmm? Tell me, what do you see? <laughs> a young... Handsome lion that's full of vitality. That's the wrong answer. Hmm? What you should be seeing is a king. But I am a king. You will be a king when you start seeing priorities for the greater good for all concerned, when you're not only worried about appearances. Hmm. Meanwhile, yeah. there are many who think you don't have what it takes to be the legitimate king. Do you think I should change my shampoo? My hmm? hair always has been a little greasy. Do you think huh? it's the shampoo? Do you think I'm talking about shampoo? Oh. Oh. Well, how about my conditioner? I've always told Bombay that that coconut oil dries my skin. Ah! What happened? A horrible looking lion! Is that what I look like now? My face full of wrinkles! There's nothing there, on the outside <laughs> or on the inside. Uh -huh. I think there's something important that you don't seem to have understood, and I feel obligated to bring it up. Hmm? You better come and sit down. Well, I think it's time for me to go and see how things are doing in the ark. I'll go look around before, uh, going... To bed? Uh. 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 Don't worry, Farfan. I can do it on my own. I swear I saw a lion! Not even that idiot Noah would put wild animals on an ark. Well, we'd better rest a little while and... 
Uh, then go on climbing. What for? It's very high, and we don't even know what there is up there. It can't be worse than what I saw below. <laughs> and so, Aesop, since he had faulty teeth, he couldn't have eaten anything La Fontaine said he did. That's why one must never trust any fable tellers. <laughs> oh, that berry's really good. Yeah, it's really funny. You're quite incredible. <laughs> oh, wow. Tell us more about humans. La Fontaine. Mm -hmm. The great pity will be back later. But now, the dive is very proud to present our superstar performer, Pansy. At first we were afraid, we were petrified To think the world that we once knew was gone And you're what's left to carry on I want to take away your pain in a new world that's free from rain I want to live, I wanna outlive you dear Don't try to run, I wouldn't bother If you come with me, I will be the one who leads you to the slaughter Try to stop me if you can, I hope that you will understand That if I eat you, it's not bad, because it's all part of the plan I want to live, I will survive I won't let anybody say what I can eat to stay alive My appetite is growing, and my teeth are very sharp I will survive, I will survive know where we're going? I think in the direction the sun sets. Well, that's during the day, but I mean at night. <laughs> why don't we just kill them now? Of course. I don't see why we have to worry about that foolish lion and his stupid friends. I can see that fat has weakened your poor carrion-fed brains. Aren't you aware that we've earned the respect of all the animals on board this Ark? And why would we want the herbivores respect? Are they at all worried about not having a lettuce's respect? <laughs> <laughs> you imbeciles! The world to come will have new rules. Aren't you tired of having to run after your food? We won't have to do that anymore. The food will run to us. When we get to dry land, we will take the animals to a place where we can choose the ones we want to fatten them up until the time comes for the sacrifice. Zero won't allow it. He might be a fool, mm. but he's also fair. And what we can allow is that just because we feel frustrated when faced with failure, we give up without trying once more. So then, we do it again. Uh, I got it! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, somebody help me! Mm. Give me a hand! Hey, King, hand. it seems all the bad boys help came me. out to play. Uh. Zero, I'd like to invite you for a drink. No, thank you. I'm with some old friends. Old friends can always be traded in for newer friends, Zero. Not in my case. For me, my friends are fundamental, a reason to live, a priceless asset. Hi, handsome. <laughs> Why won't you come with us? Uh, you guys don't mind, uh, do you? <laughs> this is very humiliating. I need a bash. The lion might hear us. Don't exaggerate. You're probably just imagining things. I saw a lion again. Stop being foolish. Animals don't sail in boats. Mm. Huh? There aren't any huh? animals here. What are we going to do? Very carefully, without disturbing them. Run! Ah! Oh. 
<laughs> and one of the most stimulating things about governing is uh, to find one's capability for giving. <laughs> uh, for example, um, all the food is given to me for free. <laughs> hey, uh, your friend should learn to relax a little, you know? <laughs> <gasps> Who authorized this? And I want to know now. Uh, May I ask what this is? Uh? Well, I don't know, but given its color, I'm presuming it's mint. <laughs> you cannot validate this unlawful dive by being here. Just a minute, honey. This dive has the necessary authorization. See? You signed an authorization so they can open a bar? Actually, it's only a temporary concession for 40 days. <gasps> oh. Does anyone else have a concession signed by zero? Me. Me. Uh, is this your idea of a fair government, trying to appeal to everyone? I'm concerned about those I love, and you should do the same. A little fun never hurt anyone. Not everything has to be done by the rules. This is not just a pleasure trip. You should be a little worried by now. Isn't this rain telling you anything? I suppose now you'll understand that we all rely on your decisions. You are the king, the only survivor of your lineage. As far as showing concern about those I love, that's all I've done. That's all I've ever done. Here you are, your lunch. Let me guess, we're having fish and salad. I believe that yesterday oh. we had fish and salad. Just be patient, oh. better times will soon be here. This is just too much. Do you think so? I think there's just one for everybody. Ah, how are you, sir? Uh, <coughs> here I am, working away. Yes, I see that. How is everything below? Eh, more or less okay. The one I haven't seen for a while is Farfan. Farfan? Farfan is on the Ark? But how could you let him get on? Uh, hold huh? on. We're hard-pressed on all sides, but not crushed. That's it. What a good phrase for my book. We're surrounded by beasts. Are you sure this is going to work? To get out of here, we must go unnoticed by the other animals. And what makes you think they're not going to eat us, even if we are animals? Ah, always so negative. Just shut up and get dressed. Uh. Mm. Hey, take it easy. Mm. So maybe she's a little upset. It isn't easy dealing with so many problems. Things will sort themselves out. Don't you worry. Don't worry. The end of the world has come and me believing that this was a pleasure trip. Huh. It must be Kyrell. Come in. Sorry to interrupt. Have you seen my husband anywhere? No. Isn't he with the other birds in the pen? I haven't seen him since the afternoon. If you see him, tell him the eggs have to be sat on. Thank you, Mr. Bombay. I'm supposed to be king. I must get things into some sort of order and make decisions. You see, it's not so difficult. At least you know what you have to do. Mm. What animal are we supposed to be? I don't know. It doesn't matter as long as we can get out of here. <laughs> Good evening, Your Majesty. Hey, how you doing, donkey? <laughs> We have a lot of work to do! I think we should have a name. Uh, just try not to make any noise. We might even be discovered in spite of these costumes. And that is the way I will become the king. And what good will that do us? Wolfgang, I can't believe you just don't understand. I think we should go this way. Over here. No, I think we should go this way. But the rest of the animals will support Zero. Zero is not a problem. Not when the animals realize he has eaten one of his vegetarian friends. He's not going to eat any animal while it's prohibited. We don't need him to really eat one, only to make others believe he has eaten one. And for that, all we need is a dead animal. <gasps> what kind of animals are these two? <gasps> don't they look like a species of, um, uh... They smell horrible. Hmm, they smell like humans. <laughs> And they look absolutely repulsive. Is it me? Or are they talking? Yes. Talking. And we are. We are. We are. Um, we are the grass. Whoppers. Yes. We're, we're grass, grass whoppers. whoppers. Grass whoppers? I've never heard of them, have you? I think when I was little, my mom used to tell me about creatures That's called. That's enough. 
They're making me a little hungry. Excuse me, but I must go to the bathroom urgently. Uh, yes, me too. Anyway, if you're going to eat us, we would be better if we had empty bladders. And be freshly bathed. Ah! You want me to bring them back for food? It's not necessary. I don't suppose they can go far. Wake up, all you two and four-legged animals! At last, the forecast is for a sunny and brighter day! How could it be better when I can't find my husband, Cecilia? All right, all right, all right. Before we move on, let's give a shout-out to all of our animal friends. We're desperately looking for a male goose named Cecilia. Preserve the Lord species until we reach our destination. Then what are we supposed to eat in the meantime? Whatever God provides will be enough. I've written down something they just said, which might work for the book. Whatever God provides will be enough. I think it needs a little punch. Maybe something shorter. Work on that one. Yes, we're interested. And if we modify the court's codes, we'll be able to reduce prison terms for all prisoners. And investments in foreign currency must be respected. Everything I have is in the stock market. And credits for small enterprises would be indispensable. Maybe not today, but someday in the future it could come in handy. I think that we should regulate the use of drugs so that they can be used responsibly. Let's see, open up. That's right, nice and wide. You must keep up your strength. Hmm. Hmm. Father, there's something that isn't right. What's that? We're the chosen ones, but all we ever do is work. And that's bad? Listen, old man, you are not shutting me up here for 40 days in the middle of this pond, Ooh. feeding and cleaning up after those filthy animals. Be a little more respectful when you're talking mm. about our sons. That's right. Don't talk about us. I understand your concern, my children, but this is what God wants, and this is what we must do. The discussion is over. Now everyone get back to work. I think it's about time we take over the rudder before this trip turns into a nightmare. All right? The animals are tired, hungry, and generally discouraged. We'll carry out our plan tonight. You, go and wait for that fool Zero. It's almost time. I found us some tomato sauce. Uh, I'm getting tired of all these problems. <laughs> I told you our luck would change. Is there any news? Everybody's patience is wearing thin. Perhaps we should send them some sort of sign, sir. First, they must demonstrate their fortitude. Otherwise, they'd say I'd give a hat to someone without a head. A pool full of mud, two females. That should be successful, right? <laughs> hey, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Consider your suggestion. Thank you very much. See you Goodbye. soon, friend. Oh, it's unbelievable what we have to listen to. Yeah, at least it was sort of a suggestion. And besides, Alvaro hmm. is a good friend. That's just what this is all about. Putting the best interests of everyone above those of your friends. Yeah, I know, I know. To govern is to improve what is wrong, straighten out what is crooked, and make a better world. A perfect world. Hmm, a perfect world. That's not bad. A perfect world. Where do we start? Zero. Want to have lunch together? Okay, uh, I'll be right with you. Kyrell, can you finish filing here? I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> Smells in here. This is the absolute last place we should be. I have a new plan. Another one? <laughs> <laughs>
You are so witty, such fun. Mm. If only we could spend a little more time together. Mm. Especially at night, when I'm overcome by such a deep melancholy. If all that need me. What was that? Um, call me if you need me. Mm. I don't need to call. The door to my heart and to my room are wide open just for you. <laughs> What's going on? You'll break all my things! Be grateful I don't break your head! Whoa, somebody sounds jealous. You can't throw me out. This is my room, too. This is a king's room, not a womanizer who doesn't realize his obligations. And you, Zero, are in no way showing that you can handle this. I thought you'd turn into a real king, but all you are is the result of a bad recipe for a king. <laughs> Listen carefully. We'll hide among the garbage and wait until they haul us up. That's if they don't eat us first. It's the grass whoppers again. I told you they'd have to eat sooner or later. Nobody will be able to find us in here. Uh. Uh. Are you uh. sure they'll uh. carry us up to the deck? Just be patient. Who turned out the light? Hurry up with the soup, bear. Hmm? Mm. Don't you think the water's getting rather hot? Does anyone want another helping? Me, 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 me. Follow them. I wouldn't want anything to happen to them before we kill them. This costume is shrinking! Must be because it got wet. Hmm. There they are. I think they've realized what we are. Do you think that that clumsy animal knows we are two miserable, unscrupulous people with no principles, our hearts corroded by greed? No, but I don't want to be here when he does! Oh! Oh. All she does all day is scold me. Whether I've done this, whether or not I've done something Kyra else. just wants you to be okay. You just have to give her time. I'd like to give her more time, but she's like my shadow. Have you ever worried about your shadow? No, because you're sure that no matter what happens, it will never leave you. Do you, you. think that Kyrell... You should just listen to your heart. Sometimes I think that Kyrell is the woman for me, but... But Panty's so sophisticated and so much fun. And when I'm near Panty, my heart beats so loud that, that, that it doesn't let you listen. Did either of you have the grass whopper soup? No. I think it didn't agree with me. My stomach is a little upset. I'll be right back. Do you have a newspaper? <clears throat> oh, no, wait, me first, me first. Uh, what is it? A sale? What are they giving away? It's the grass whopper soup! It seems to have generated a chain reaction! Can I borrow this paper? Are you okay? I think so. At least someone has cleaned this place out. Some animals have escaped. I'll get the net. No. Uh. <gasps> well, I don't know about you, but tonight I want to eat shepherd's pie. <laughs> Let go of me. <laughs> my food, my food. What's happening? My oh. food. <laughs> These animals must go back to the hole. Oh! 
<laughs> Father! We have to go find Down him! Down there with those beats? I'm the eldest son. I'll go. first mom there's nothing we can do the hold is full of vicious beasts oh, oh, oh. who's on the rudder huh? it's mine mine come on yeah. sam keep up it's mine mine <laughs> i'll get there first see you slow poke <laughs> And if you have any problems, let me know. I'll never eat that soup. I think I've made the right decision. So what are you waiting for? Go tell her. First things first. I'm going to tell Panny that our relationship is over. Farfan, Esther, is that you? <laughs> of course it is, old man. And why are you here among the animals? Why didn't you ask for help? Uh, what fun is it to ask for something when one can get it by force? Oh! Hmm. Now that you're here, it saves us time having to send you down. <laughs> Wait here. Now that I've lost his house, at least I can get to keep his boat. <laughs> You're talking too loud. The animals can hear they may attack. You forget, woman, that we're the smartest of all the creatures. And these beasts are no more than stews, soups, copes, and carpets. <laughs> Tell me I didn't do what I think I just did? Brrr. You do remember where the bathroom is, right? Brrr. I'll catch you both soon enough. But for now, this will suffice. Hi! Be ashamed of yourselves. Your father brought you this far. You'd have drowned if it weren't for his faith. And all you're concerned about is taking control when you don't even deserve it. Now that he's gone, you could at least honor his sacrifice and vision. Uh. Uh. Mm. Hi, handsome. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> um, well, uh, look, I think we need to talk. Be careful. It must be suitable for all ages. Oh, well, sir, what do you expect? It has been 40 days. Will my book be very boring? It needs more action. I don't know, a, a little blood, a, a love story? Ah! Huh? Help! You know, you mustn't ah! take it so hard. You have to learn to accept that someone doesn't love you. Ah! Oh. Here. Wipe it off. Mm, thank you. He ate it. He ripped open its belly and then he oh. ate it right in front of me. And then, then... Oh, me? Oh. What are you saying? Oh. Oh. What's the matter with you? Have you gone crazy? You murderer. You assassin. He ate it. He ate the defenseless grass -wopper. Is this a joke? Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. She's gone completely mad. I only came to... <laughs> Kyrell, you don't believe that I... You know that I... <sighs> Kyrell, please stop! You have to believe me! You have dishonored us. Uh, you have violated the law that you yourself but... imposed by eating one of us. But I didn't eat anybody! You have to believe me! This Do you believe that Zero is an honorable king? <sighs> so then... What are you doing? Let go of me! So everyone go back to your rooms now. It's all over. There's nothing more to see here. You have to believe me! I hope everything has turned out as you planned. Couldn't be better.
We should go see Bombay. Without a rudder, we have no way of changing the Ark's course. If we can't change course, we can't turn either, can we? Maybe we'd better pray. That's what Father would have done. Of course, when they're in trouble, they remember I exist. Angel! Yes, sir! I'm innocent! I'm innocent! What matters now is that I am king. So you set me up! Lock him up! I'm innocent! <sighs> what are you waiting for? He's saying he's innocent. Maybe we should listen to him, Dagnino. Wolfgang, please just lock him up! Yes, yes, all right. Okay. <laughs> I promise, Dagnino, you'll get yours! That's just what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, I'll get mine all right. Then maybe I'll get yours, too. Uh, if you put one single paw on Kyrell, you'll be sorry! You can't threaten me, Zero. You're a nobody, just a fool who never earned his crap. Uh, a king is someone who takes what he feels is right for uh, his. And now the animal kingdom is mine. Let's go. It's feeding time. I'm very sorry, handsome. No! No, no. Zero not only disappointed me, he let all of you down too. But it's unfair. Zero is just incapable of... That's right. Zero is just incapable. <laughs> incapable of doing a thing like that. We all know that and you more than anyone. But we all saw him. Perhaps what we saw is not as important as what we feel. Don't you think? <laughs> oh. For our soul is humbled down to the dust, our belly cleaveth to the earth. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us for thy name's sake. Isn't it getting cold? Cold? What are you talking about? About the cold! Don't you remember what cold is? You have reached rock bottom. Now, listen to me. You are the voice, the voice of my lineage. <laughs> with you, we began this journey, and with you, we will end it. Go. No pause, no rest. Huh? A new world awaits us, and you will be our guide. <sighs> Did you hurt yourself? I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. Hey, why do you ask? Ah! Ah! You knew this was gonna happen. You can predict the future, right? Ah, Cairo, forgive me. You're right. I'm no more than a bad recipe for a king. I've ruined everything. I wasn't able to see that you've always loved me. And what's worse, I couldn't see that I loved you. I only thought that... You only thought that a little bit of fun wasn't the end of the world. <clears throat> There's no time to get all romantic now, you two. We have a kingdom to reclaim, lovebirds. Would you believe that I heard an inner voice? You have to stop reading those self-help books. Catch them and lock them all. Let no one escape. Destroy those excuses for animals. Looks like it's between you and me now. 
about my Kyrell. So, this is our chance. Come on, the new world is waiting. What's happening? What was that crash? Calm oh, down, I calm down. I knew it was <laughs> we <clears throat> must remain calm. Silence, listen to our king. Uh, what do I say to them? I don't know. Show them your king. Be positive. Um, uh, uh, some trip, isn't it? <laughs> At least we haven't sunk yet. <gasps> Run for your life! There is no place to go, and we don't have any food! I have a suggestion. What? Let's eat the predators! That's enough! What's happened here is not just by chance. It's the result of people without direction and without a king. We are not going to eat each other. Alone, even the strongest cannot survive. We will achieve our purpose only if we help each other and respect our differences. That is the only way that we will be saved. He speaks very well, doesn't he? He's a champ. But, sir, it never rains in the South Pole. And besides, it's so cold. Don't you think this has gone far enough? Hmm. Hmm. start by fixing the rudder. I think they're a little calmer now. They're waiting for you to tell them what to do. I don't know if I'll be able to lead them. I'm probably not the right person. You wouldn't be here if you weren't the right one. <gasps> huh? Attention! We have work! 
work to do! It looks like the animals have gone crazy! Set sail. The animals are waiting to follow their leader. Now is your time. a new world of food and abundance. We'll open an enormous market without any competition, and we can fix unlimited prices. Do you get it? You're talking about... A monopoly! A paradise of abundance? Uh, um, well, we'll probably have to wait till spring. Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Remind me to kill you if we survive this. <laughs> and now, once again towards the sunset. By day and by night. It's still freezing outside. You're gonna catch a cold. Mm. Oh. Oh. Tomorrow we have lots of work to do. Aw, just one more glass. It's not like it's the end of the world. to make a perfect world. I guess that a better world should be enough. Please come and dance with us, dear. The light it warms in the rear. Our will be done when the fun is over and the rain is done. When the fun is over and the rain is done. When the fun is over and the rain is done. Angel, you left the rainbow on. I'm so sorry, Lord. How about this 
one. Pray to God, even if you're drowning. How about put your trust in the Lord and he will rescue you? <laughs> May God grant you twice what you wish for me. That would cost me a fortune. Don't worry about it, sir. Later on, we can add, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. No, no. I can't just dispose of... Okay, but then I don't understand you. Then why did you make me include man proposes and God disposes? Angel, how can you question me on everything? Just remember, we shall not make light of the Lord's discipline. Stop it, for the love of me. First we were afraid, we were petrified To think the world that we once knew was gone And you're what's left to carry on I want to take away your pain In a new world that's free from rain I want to live I want to outlive you, dear Don't try to run I wouldn't bother If you come with me I will be the one who leads you to the slaughter Try to stop me if you can I hope that you will understand That if I eat you, it's not bad Because it's all part of the plan I want to live I will survive I won't let anybody say What I can eat to stay alive My appetite is growing And my teeth are very sharp I will survive I will survive 